Gurmohan Gutta, let's can call it, Minister, I asked you here uh, several months ago, I asked you about the rollout of the vaccine for the, the flu vaccine. And I put it to you that 2 million were supplied, and you could only count for 1.4 million. I want you to come back to me with an answer in writing, whether that's right or wrong. So, how are we want to be prepared to do this? And I said that at the time, this number of vaccines, how could we do it when we have, when the HSC and the department were totally unfit? And I have not accounted with anybody, not even to you. And, Minister, I want to know when are the cares, when are the home helps? And when are the Gallery Corner going to get the vaccines? They're front line, hugely front line. It couldn't be more front line. And I don't have a big issue if the vaccines left over in a, in a, in a, in a, a rollout that five or six of them are given to some people. They're better than wasting them. Surely it's better than wasting them if people can be got to give them to them because they shouldn't be wasted. And I also want to ask you, Minister, a private situation. It's a, a, a Valerie, a middle aged woman now, who, as a, as a young girl, was, had a serious accident, got an award. An exceptional care team is put in place by her father and mother, uh, you know, and indeed her, her care team, the support team, come in. And they're quite close to where Deputy Butler lives and count their character and sure, but they go home, the carers for them and herself, Valerie, are waiting. And, and because it's a private situation, that she's implying those people are themselves or somebody's doing it, or father's doing it, on her behalf. And they're frightened and worried. And then they've RT, 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 the bad news channel. Charlie Bird found the, or not Charlie, but um, the former TD found his vocation at long last, frightened the life out of everyone. He was here with us for a while in, in the Parliament. So the fear factor that you've instilled and you have an unfit uh, a rollout situation, then that private situation, they need the vaccine as much as anyone. The carers need it. And they can get any idea when they're going to get it or when they're going to, you know, uh, like the, there's a list all right, you said, yeah, but that list is going backwards because of the lack of supply. I could name all the countries here, have uh, great, uh, United Kingdom 12.8 million vaccines. What are we at? 230,766. Maybe we should have left the EU as well and we'd have got the vaccines because the EU aren't looking after us. They never looked after us, and your inability to get them, and you were asked by the deputy, make sure you were not here to contact the CEO of the company. Could we get them ourselves? Because it's frightfully slow, and it's a damn fine mess. As I said, it would be, because they couldn't look after the flu vaccine, two million. How were they going to roll this out? They're not fit for purpose, the HSC. Haven't been for decades, and they were appointed by your great leader, thank, the Taoiseach. I said, hope the HSC. Thank, so thank you, deputy. It's, they're not fit for purpose, full stop. Thank you, deputy. We're out of time.